Well, I assume he'll be playing Sunday. I mean, he he came out there, as you saw, and he felt fine, but we didn't want to take any chances. Like, you know, players always say they feel fine, and uh, but, uh, you know, it was more of a Charlie horse than anything else. Clean, clean I thought so, yeah. 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 It, was, it was like knee on knee, but it was high, you know. So, I mean, I thought uh, uh, actually Mike might have been a little careless, you know, casual. When he when he cut into the middle there, so, um, but I'm just uh, really happy to see that it's not going to be long term. So you're able to celebrate your ninth straight victory. Well, I don't know if celebrate is the right word. I'll we'll go home watch on the fly. Is that celebrating? Then, uh, um, but uh, I thought we were lucky actually, because I didn't think we had our best game tonight. We gave up way too many chances, but uh, Neuwirth was outstanding, and that uh, when you get the good goaltending, it's. It, you know, you, sometimes you overlook your mistakes. Really developed kind of a killer instinct going into the period. It seems like during the streak early in the season, you guys were kind of maybe letting teams back in. That's not not been happening at all. Yeah, no. I mean, we got the the second and then the third pretty qu- or third and fourth pretty quickly, and and that sort of stems the tide. It makes it an awful lot easier to play. You know, I mean, if we're going to be loose, and and then what happens is other teams open up, and then if you're going you know, if you want to open it up, sometimes I think, you know, uh, we've got just as many good chances to score as you do. Coach Mike Dougal, uh, we talk about it a lot, just going to crash the net, but it's amazing how you guys have gone from a team that struggled to, to you know, score from two feet in last year to this year being one of the best in the league. The addition is obviously a big part of that. Yeah, I think so. But, I mean, you know, I don't know the word struggle. We were second in the league in goals, I think, last year. So, I mean, we didn't get a lot in from the paint, maybe, and he does a great job at that. Um, but it's, it's something we, we practice all the time on going to the net. And <clears throat> is Nikki going to the net, following him up, and knowing, knowing who you're playing with? And so it's, it's good. Jeff Schultz, the latest low scoring defenseman to get off the Schneid. That's yeah, a big goal. it was a great. It was a big goal. It was a relief goal because uh, I thought they were really coming, and and Michael was going to have to make a couple big saves. I didn't, you know, I thought, and uh, well, he did anyway. But right yeah, yeah, he made a great glove save, and um, so you can you knew he was in a pretty good zone when that happened. Well, that's. Well, that's you know same, same message and everything. But uh, I mean, it's tough. I mean, we were. I was asked earlier. I mean, you know, keeping a winning streak alive or breaking a losing streak. What's easier and uh, or what's harder? And I think the reason you don't have any real long winning streaks is because it's difficult. I mean, to keep to keep mentally focused. It's hard enough if you have an emotional game against a rival and you play the next night to play just as good as you did the night before. So it's a it's it's tough to keep winning, and uh, I didn't think we had our best stuff tonight, but you know we won. 83-84, and that's the last time this team has won ten in a row. You've now won nine in a row. And, I mean, just from a historical perspective here, I mean, has it sunk in a little bit? I mean, you guys have done something that hasn't been done in twenty. Nope. I'm <laughs> sorry, it hasn't sunk in. It'll you know like a, it's great, and it, it'll sink in later as it, as did six game winning streaks in that, but. Uh, uh, I think that's it's good. It'll be nice if it happens, but it's not our goal. So, getting back to Green for a moment, there was an exchange earlier in the game. He took a hit from I think Stillman, and then later on that shift, he elbowed uh, for a leak in the head. Mm-hmm. And got, do you think he'll face any um, a fine or, or any punishment for those? For the for the elbow? The elbow just because there's been so much talk about headshots. Yeah, I don't think so. I mean, he just got uh, Froelich got up and yeah. was fine. You know, and I think it was an incidental. He was coming like this, so automatically you're, he, he didn't fling the elbow up at him. It was just, it was carried high. Chris, how satisfying is it for you to see Michael Neuver step up and you know, struggle the course of the last game against Florida and keep coming up and, and making these NHL-type saves? He's, he's an NHL-type goalie. And, you know, I mean, I think that's the 15th game he's played. And, you know, out of the last 12, he's... He's, you know, had one off night, and I think, 
Uh, I've seen Martin Brodeur have an off night every now and again. So it's nothing new. And I mean, just I think it's more coincidental when you're this young and this starting your career. It's it's more coincidental against that it's against Florida this year and uh, Florida uh, last year because the game he played against Florida last year, I thought was just sort of a uh, it was a nothing game uh, at at that point. I think if. I re recollect, and, and the other bad game he had was against Carolina, and I think it was just it was his third game up, and it was just uh, it, he'd won the first two, and it sort of just caught him. So, why was there so much chippiness tonight? It, it, it seemed like I mean, there's some teams you guys have a lot with. This team isn't one of them. It just seemed like there was like five roughing penalties. Well, they were working awful hard, and I mean they they were coming at us pretty good, and. Uh, uh, they, their sense of urgency, and they were probably a little ticked off that they'd lost four in a row to us, and and then the, that they'd lost the last one with having a four to one lead. So I'm sure they heard a little bit about that, and they had three days to prepare for this game. So uh, they came out, you know, really hard. So it, it didn't surprise me that they were going to do everything in their power to win. Mike Nubel should have had a hat trick. He said he's been kicking himself all night. Really? Yeah. He, oh. he said he felt like. You know, I, I asked him how the what happened, and he said he didn't know. You'll have to see. I think he'll be happy though if he keeps getting two a game. You know, I don't think, I think that one won't bother him. He says he has like 32 goal games and one hat trick. It might be annoying for him, but I know a lot of guys that would like to have 32 goal games in this league. So.